Okay, so on this uh, portion of the book, uh, it's asking, accepting one another for who they are and their differences, 100%. I think the book that I've chosen does exactly this. And it's cool because like, when you break it down into, we should we should never make someone feel bad or or maybe not accept them, accept them because they are different. We should always welcome them. This is so true. The book I've chosen has a part of this where it doesn't even matter where you are or where you come from. It's what matters is is your connection with someone, and that's what my book was about, and which is the reason I chose it. You know, I get tired of animals. That's why I chose people, and and this could this could resonate even more with like people because like. These two people come from different backgrounds in this this book of called Friends. Um, and also it says here, um, how will you build background knowledge? So the way I would build background knowledge about the book without even before reading it, to be honest, I, I would start off with like, everyone is made different. And this is how you can be put together and be friends. Even though you come from different backgrounds, different culture, different diversities, this book that I that I read or will read again, this book will show you that anything's possible. Eric Charles Friends. Here we go. So once there was two friends who were always together. Together they played. And ran. And danced. And told each other secrets. So from the book standpoint, I want to talk about ethnicities. The guy is white and the girl is not. <laughs> as simple as that. And I think it's important that we understand that everyone has different color skin. Everyone has different kinds, kinds of styles. Everyone has different kind of backgrounds when it comes to, you know, culture. It's a very big deal. And I think, I think the best way to explain or, or have people understand is to talk about it. I think it's important that I saw a video the, the other day where where the, the teacher took out a bunch of crayons and the little girl put her hand out and the little guy put his hand out and then you can see like they're trying to figure out what color they are in the crayons, which is so cool. So what the teacher said is like find your find a mirror and find the crayon color that matches you and then draw yourself. And I think that's really interesting because like you can actually share what you think you look like with what color crayon with the people in your classroom. And I think that's kind of cool. You know, I think this is a teaching point and we can teach kids to understand that, yeah, we're different, but we're the same. It's just, it's just the color. It doesn't matter. It's like, it's like a car. It's black. It's white. It's blue. It's green. It's still a car. That's the premise of this whole thing. I think those teaching points will make a big impact. And I'm definitely going to take that from that video. I would definitely use that in my class if I had one. I don't think it matters if people think you're small, big, or medium, or large. It does not matter. I think what matters the most is how you treat somebody. I think that's the most important. And if you can teach someone that size doesn't matter, it's more more of the personality. Even when you're a little kid and how you treat somebody, I think that can go so f But one day, the boy was all alone. His friend was gone. She had moved far away. I missed her, he said. Wherever she is, I must find her. Then he took a deep breath. Now here's one thing. You always gotta look out for your buddy. There's always gonna be people that come in out of your life and when you're a kid, there's always gonna be some kind of person or another kid that's not part of this classroom, let's just say, that's gonna be a bully or, 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 just, or just not be a friend. You always gotta help your friends out. When you have friends, you gotta stick up for your friends and together you, you can, you'll be okay. And I think it's very important to always remember to help one another. In this life, pe people are a certain way. But there are good people in the world and they do help one another, even though they've they never met before. It does happen. And guess what? It's okay to have different friends from different schools and diversity. It just means that different backgrounds are gonna are gonna diverse. That means different backgrounds are gonna are gonna teach you things like you can never learn unless you meet these strangers. You know, when you go to a college or when you go to high school, you intermingle. People transfer all over the world to Los Angeles, from San Francisco, Texas, Mexico, all these places in the world, and you end up in one, one spot, school. And you learn so much from the cultural backgrounds, and you never know. What if that person is your best friend or your or or it could be your, your, your prom king or queen. You just don't know. So you gotta understand, there's always gonna be people that are different. There's always gonna be people that are gonna have different backgrounds from around the world. And I think this is the world we live in. We live in a diverse world. And this is okay to teach kids to learn. Now, that's just my two cents. Let's do the reading. 
Then he took a deep breath, continued to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next page. Jumped into the swift river. The water was cold. Burr! The river was wild. So it took a long time to swim across. I think that can go so far. And if I were to have a program, let's just say, or or if I had teaching points, I would teach my kids that some people are skinny, some people are tall, some people are bigger, some people are skinny. That's just genetics. That's just something else that separates us from being different, but we're still the same. You know, some people are built small. There are small cars out there. There are large cars out there. That's just how they're built, but they're still cars. I would always use that as, as a reference. Next page. When he got to the other side, it was really dark. The stars watched over him as he fell asleep. The next morning, he saw a tall mountain ahead. He started up on one side of it. The path was steep. It was hard work. Finally, he got to the top and then he slid right down the other side. Plunk! The boy landed in a broad meadow. It was a hot day, like Los Angeles. The grass was very dewy, damp, and cool. He strolled through, he strode through it. Ah! Because of the heat. Then all of a sudden, it began to rain. Splash, 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 splash. He had to dash through the falling drops. He ran so fast. After a while, the boy felt tired. He fell asleep and dreamed that he was floating on the clouds. Mm. He woke up, he woke up deep in the forest dark shadows danced around him. Eek! He rushed out of the woods into a flower garden. He gathered a bouquet. And there was his friend. I found you. He shrugged. I knew you would come, she said. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other secrets and got married. Uh, let's see here. And going to like the whole mom and dad stuff, you know, I personally grew up with only one mom. I didn't have a dad. I don't even know what the fuck he looks like. Excuse me, I don't know what he looks like. And I think it does, I want you to understand one thing. Moms or whoever your guardian is, that is your parent. It doesn't matter if you have a mom, you have two dads, or it, it, that doesn't matter. What matters is, is how you're being treated. And, 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 and if you're happy and you're growing up in a happy place, that's all that matters. So if you have a mom or one dad or two dads or two moms or one dad and one mom, great. The, the matters here is, is, is when you go home, you're happy. I think that's the most important part. It doesn't matter. Everyone has their options in choosing who they want to have as a partner. And then you can grow up with that and you get to learn from that. I think that's awesome. Let's see here. Here's a photo. 1932, it's a real story. Relationships, huh? Here I am with my friend in Syracuse, New York. I was three years old and so was she. My German mother took this, this picture. She wrote Juni, June 1932 in the corner. When I was six, I moved far away. We never saw each other again. I often think about my long ago friend and I wonder what happened to her. Here's Eric Carl which is the guy from the story, and his wife, Barbara, Bobby, have been married for quite a long time. This happy fact was one of the primary inspirations uh, and innovations for this book. So the book itself is it's the it's for ages uh, between zero to uh, eight years old. It's about um, falling in love or having like a friendship or a relationship with someone at a very young age and uh, understanding even though you're not an adult yet, you can still have feelings or relationships with someone very young. And he always remembered this story with this this person and even has a photo, which is incredible. And I think relationships, relationships are very important because they make the biggest impact in your life. Like I've met so many people in my life that I'll never forget that come and go, but I'll never forget when I, what I went through with them. And, and I think it's important that we we learn from these these, these, uh, these moments. So I hope you guys enjoy the story. That's pretty much it. Later. Okay, so this is a short version of the other one, but it's still continued because I'm gonna read the book anyways. But I just want to talk about this. It says accepting one another for who they are the differences. We should never make someone feel bad or not accept them because of, of, of how different they should be. 
we should always welcome them. A hundred percent, always welcome everybody. You don't know where people come from. I I definitely agree with this because it's more friendly to have an acceptance and instead of being ignored or being left behind and, and no one wants to be feeling that way, to be honest. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the background knowledge of the book before the actual reading, which I'm gonna put next after this. You know, in the book, it shows the difference between people. Now, I like that my book shows like two different cultures of people and they're just kids. Not falling in love, but having like love for each other and being friends from a different background. I think that is amazing. And and, and the knowledge of learning how to do that as a, as a young child can be difficult. But having an open heart and open mind as a child can change things for sure. And I think that's part of the reading because if you hear the story you can you can see what he goes through without his friend and the fact that he has a photo of her at the very end is so awesome like that's so cool even though you're not friends forever there's one point in your life where you actually were friends and i think i think it's important to understand the differences between people and, and learn from these things even if you can learn it at a young age even better because then you have a little bit of knowledge by the time you get a little older you can handle things differently i think that's very important how will you end the reading out loud? So now that I finished the reading, this is what I want to say. I want everyone to understand that the people you meet here in this classroom or the friends you make in your life are always going to be a memory and be part of your world forever. You may not remember them later. You may forget their names. You may forget what they look like, but you can't erase something that happened. This moment in time, from what I got from the book, hope, hopefully everybody got, got the same thing, is that this moment in time is forever. Even if there's no photograph, even if there's nothing, there's no breadcrumbs, there's nothing of, to talk about, you and that person will forever have that shared memory. Long after will always be there. And I want you to understand and cherish these little moments that you do have when you meet someone special. If it's a friend, it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or if it's a family member, it's important to understand the time that you have with someone is very, very important. It's, it's, it's almost like a blessing. And it's, it's, you're even more lucky if you meet someone that you get along very well with, especially at a young age. So that's what I took from the book. I'm sure everyone took something from the book in their own way, but that's more or less what I took from it. And I, and I believe, uh, I believe in magical memories, you know, and what I mean by that is it's, you can't control what, what, who you're going to meet. Even that a year little, you know, even as as a kid, you can't control who's going to be in your classroom. So just enjoy it. And if you find someone you gravitate towards, that's your buddy, that's your friend, that's your best friend, that's whatever it is. And I, I just think it's very important to um, to understand that culture doesn't matter. It's it's about how you're treated and and how you talk to each other. And that's it. Later.